So it's another day on the Ancos project. Today what I'm doing is I'm off to university. They're going to loan me a, a Canon 5D Mark III for the week. Um, and a, a 24 to 70 lens. So what I want to do is today is go and get the go get the camera and the kits and then I'm going to go to Quarry Bank Mill. Um, what I'd like to see is, is what a mill used to look like back in the day. Now Quarry Bank Mill, not been there yet but from what I get from it is it's it's still working as a working mill as they was back in the day so that's what today's all about i'm going to go and have a look at that so let's go so today i've come to quarry bank mill um where i've come to look specifically at a mill that has been decked out and is as it was back in the day um I've not read, read up on Quarry Bank Mill yet, so I've got a little leaflet in the pocket and we'll have to get into it as we go. Um, but I'm also uh, I'm also going to be using a Canon 5D Mark III today that I borrowed from university. It's great to have a camera like this back in my hands, you know, since I've lost my, you know, military Nikons, it's nice to get something that feels familiar in my hands. I, I, don't get me wrong, I quite like my little Canon M50, however, it's little, if it, that makes sense, you know, it's... It's nice to have something firm and blocky and it's got a fair bit of weight to it in my hands again. But we'll see how this gets on. Let's go inside and have a look.
Well, that concludes the trip to Quarry Bank Mill. Um, lots of interesting key facts there, lots of things for me to take away. Um, but the biggest one, the biggest key takeaway for me today was the fact that Samuel Gregg built this mill because he didn't want to build in Manchester because he said people were sickly. Um, so the people of Ancoats were obviously uh, ill degenerates by the sound of it and not for him. And he basically built this here and built a village around it, which was quite the ongoing thing back then, you know, building industry and then building like a, a cottage, a village, sorry, cottages and villages around that. But yeah, yeah, good visit.